What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some Kagura First Re Duel. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second. <laughs> but um, last time we got through Get Habari Scroll and Street Sweeping. Now we're going to go for Get Back the Purse. Um, so I'm thinking maybe who I pick doesn't really matter the first time. Um, we'll swap to if I'm supposed to be regardless on the next one. Or. Or slap them supposed to be regardless the first time I play through. Yes. But going with whoever's in the picture regardless. Bask in the morning warmth of the summer sun and head for Hanzo National Academy. People tend to get sluggish as the weather warms, but this is the perfect temperature. Sunlight is the source of my energy. Mm-hmm. I'm in such good spirits, I can't seem to keep myself from humming. <laughs> what the what kind of pose is that? I look up and notice I'm already at the school gate with a piece of toast with an egg clinging to it, even though it's on its side and should be clearly falling off. Not that not the main gate, it's actually the rear gate. Made specifically for the shinobi student. It wouldn't, make, it wouldn't do to make friends with regular students and have them start getting nosy about which class I'm in. So, we all go through the back door. For that same reason, the shinobi student, the shinobi student classrooms are kept well out of sight of the body. Hey! Go through the gate, only to hear a voice calling me from. Boy in a baseball uniform, He's looking very out of breath as he stops. Hair is buzzed short and his face is very tanned. He's at least tall. No doubt he's seriously in sports. What? Uh. <sighs> Camers for a moment and winds up not saying anything at all. Kind of in a hurry. I don't want to stand by the rear gate for it. Oh, I love you. <laughs> huh? Out of guard, I had no idea how to react. I love you. Go out with me. <laughs> Drops his gaze in a hurry. See the neat little whorl of hair on the back. At my failure to respond, he turns and runs off like a scared rabbit. What's that all about? Check the clock and see time for homerooms. Print off for the ninja. Higher morning passes in blur. Love you. Go out with me. No one's ever said anything like that. Something wrong, Asuka? For lunch? Bari peers at my face. Suddenly realize it's lunchtime. It would be great to have in the cutscene. Sitting here with my lunchbox daydream. Something happened? No, it's just. Boy, I don't know, just told me he loved me. Going in the ninja room, X is one, so much so that they startle me. Details! I want the gory details! That's. wow. Boy, you say. I'd like to hear more too. They bombard me with questions and said to go ahead and fill them in. Boy is a baseball player from the school, correct? Ruga speaks with calm assurance. I'm trying to be more like her in that room. A baseball player. Nice. Maybe a future major leaguer. Sounds like you got yourself a real cash, Asuka. Dad is almost trembling with enthusiasm. Think so? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, good luck keeping up with him, unless you end up being a performer or a TV announcer or something. Still, right? No, all I want to be is a shinobi. I don't have any dreams of becoming a celebrity. Still, in the face of Kat's unbridled excitement, I can't help but give her a wry smile. Baseball's where they hit those really fast balls, right? Ikaruga nods at her Fari's question. Some pro baseball players are athletes on par with any shinobi. How common is baseball in Japan? Oh wow, I bet they could use a word or use a word. <laughs> 
Use a sword to block shurikens. As usual, Hobar is a little off the mark, but with her, it's always kind of cute. So, what do you plan to do? Ruger asks her question quietly, just to calm the turmoil. What's the question, is <coughs> For Shinobi, you mustn't forget that. Yagyu keeps her voice quiet and level. It's like she just splashed my mind with water. The room, bustling with activity only moments before, goes silent. And Cat settles. Well, obviously. I don't have time to spare for love. I want to be I want to be a shinobi, and that's all. Really, I don't even know what going out is, or how you're supposed to do it. Plus, I don't know what kind of person that boy is. It might not be the kind of person I want to be around, let alone fall in love with. Feeling much better, I pop open the lid of my lunchbox. Inside is my favorite, Budamaki roll. Carelessly run along a mountain path. Every morning I perform personal training. Still an experience. Nowhere near as strong as Cat is. Ruga is much faster than I am. Yagyu's technical mastery and Habari's espionage skills are superior to mine as well. I'm not a fan of losing to anyone, I'm always training as much as I can. Suddenly sense another presence. Who's there? The boy from yesterday emerges from the woods. Again, he's wearing his baseball uniform. Huh? What are you doing here? Yeah, it's you the same thing. Don't tell me you're a stalker. Fix his head in the sun and panic. I was at batting practice. I'm retrieving balls. By yourself? Yes, it's my personal training. Personal training. Like me. Okay. I want to practice more than anyone. Baseball's really special to me. Practice more than anyone. I don't know how that feels. I feel a glance at his face. Though he's drenched in sweat, he still looks full of energy. It's actually kind of cool. I feel myself begin to blush. I quickly look away. Uh, um, my name's Suzuki. Can I ask your name? Suzuki kun. You don't even know my name, and you told me you love me. I should admit, I'm being a little. Suzuki quickly wipes his palms. No, I, uh. It was like love at first sight. Asuka, nice to meet you. I smile at him and lets out a huge sigh. Asuka, I know this is kind of awkward. But if it's okay, I'd like to ask you something. Hey, what? Would you be willing to go out with me? With all my words and fall utterly silent. All I can hear are the birds in the wind. Bothering you, aren't I? Can I get it? I'm a total stranger. He smiles bitterly and scratches his head. At least we're introduced now, right? We've got a game this weekend. If you're up to it, you're welcome to come watch. I found myself looking straight into his eyes. You're honest, Asuka. Would it be okay to watch this game? Ruga and Yagi were too upset about it. I realize I'm still hesitating. He lowers his head slightly and starts jogging down the mountain. His back is broad and. Right as morning classes end, the door to the ninja room flies open. Sushi <laughs> Chef bursts in, laughing loudly. My very dear Grandpa Hanzo. You're the one who the Academy's named after? Grandpa! Hey, Asuka. Showing them what you're made of, are you? Your Hanzo. It's been quite some time. Mr. Kiria bows deep. Enough of that, Kiria. I'm long retired. Grandpa's known as a legendary shinobi. Before he retired, he was apparently amazing. Rumor has it that Hanzo Academy is actually named after him. Now, no civilian knows anything about his legend. That's a good thing. Protect others from the shadows. 
do it with no expectation of gratitude. I think that's what the battle for justice is all about. I'd love to be a shinobi of Grandpa's caliber. It's been my dream since I was little. What brings you here, Grandpa? I thought I'd make lunch for everyone. With that, he unties a cloth wrapper. The smell of rice vinegar reaches senses. A lot longer than I thought this would be. Woohoo! Sushi! Yeah, sushi! Mari literally jumps for joy. Everyone quickly gathers around Grandpa. His parents run a sushi restaurant, managed by both of them plus Grandpa. Business is tough, but the regular customers must be up for it. Here you go. Grandpa's special Futamaki roll. Graska, pass these out, would you? Take the red sushi or take the sushi bucket from him and go around handing the rolls out to him. At least we got some art again. Look delicious. Sick, but I bet I can handle all of it. Here goes. Tom. Delicious. Everyone cheerfully stuff Kudomaki rolls into their mouths. Grandpa smiles and motions. What is it? Hear your thoughts have turned to love of love. Just tell him? No, they wouldn't have just blurted this out. What did he know about the boy? Thinking about it, it hits me. Grandpa's a legendary shinobi. No one can hide secrets. Especially not his own granddad. It's not like I'm really in love or anything. Asuka, have you ever heard about how your parents lowers his voice to a whisper tells me a <sighs> Dad was a law student at a famous university. Apparently, he fell in love with my shinobi student, Mom, at first sight. Grandpa objected to the dating, of course. But Dad refused to give up and got into an endless series of arguments with Grandpa in the process. Which one is he the parent of? Confused. How come you gave in and let them see each other? Father gave up his dream of being a lawyer and said he wanted to open a sushi restaurant with me. Said he didn't need dreams or money. He could only be with the woman he loved. Assume he's his dad? Never dreamed that's why dad ended up running his restaurant. Feel tears rolling up. Eyes run hot. He was willing to get that go that far. I could hardly refuse his request. Not, not an agreement. So, what's this boyfriend of yours like? I told you, he's not my boyfriend. But, if you want to know what he's like, kinda like me. Yes. It's up early to practice like crazy, really focused on his goals. He is a lot like me. Asuka, it's good to love some. Go for this. Huh? At a loss for words. Never thought I'd hear Grandpa actually encouraging me to pursue romance. Remember what I've always told you? Power has to be a pairing of sword and shield. Not slightly. Always had a knack for fighting. Beat up a lot of bullies when I was growing up. Even then, I wanted to be a good shinobi. What felt right for me. So one day, Grandpa said to me, Your strength is a mere sword. The sword is meaningless, not joined with it. Which is why all these characters have been wielding shield, obviously. Didn't have a clue what he meant. I got that a sword was powerful, but shield? And in all my time at Hanzo Academy so far, I still haven't really figured it out. Love can be difficult for Shinobi, certainly. The feeling of loving someone, I'm sure, will teach you the meaning of sword and shield. As he says this, he claps me on the back. Hard. I start coughing, and laughs in response. I finally get it. He wants me to know how a Shinobi would think in the Thanks, Grandpa. At my small expression of gratitude, Nods deeply.
In the end, I don't go to Suzuki's game. I'll we'll change the route I take when training in the morning, so I run into it again. Those words would make things clear to me. I'm not ready for love. Not yet. There's a lot I want to do before I learn of the strength of the strength born of the sword and shield. One morning, I finished my morning training and glanced at the sports section of the paper. My god, this is so much longer than what I expected uh, it to be. There, I see a small article about Suzuki's process. He'd pitched a shutout game with 18 strikeouts. He even hit two home runs out of his five times at bat. He'd led his team to victory as pitcher and, battle and batter. He'd been his team's sword and shield all rolled into one. Good luck to you. Smile softly and gently. Another warm day today. Nice and quiet. What's that bitch with the yo-yo doing back there? <laughs> ah! Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to run into you. No, that's okay. You're not hurt, are you? Nah, I'm fine. Later. Let me guess. Pickpocket? Oh, she's in a hurry. Hmm? Huh? Huh? My scroll's missing. Ah, my wallet's gone. No, it is wallet. It's straight up pickpocket. That girl took it. I wonder, could she be one of the Ma Grunt Mountain thieves I've been hearing about? Only had 500 yen in there. But money is money. Even more importantly, it's my precious allowance. No way I'm going anywhere until I get it back. All that random story with that dude just <laughs> my wallet gets stolen and have that be it. Are you a dance cloaked in shadow? Tried to parry that one. Come on. Hit me. Somebody hit me. Ha! Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. He'd be early. There we go. Just what second earlier than I should be. But. Shinobi transformation! Turn my vest! And.
Ah, oh, shoot. That's not good. Come on. Aha! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't see. Block it. Aha! Alright, and that's such a one of these. I do it? I think I did it. I did it! Alright, that wasn't so bad. Oh no, that little thief got away. What was that? Here you go, Jugs. Jugs, really? Fall it. I got it back for you. That's Homura. I was right. Thank you so much. Hey, don't call me Jugs. My name's Asuka. Who are you? I'm Homura. Homura, huh? Well, please let me get you a little something to say thanks. Ah, I'm good. Don't be modest. Spend fi like 500 yen. <laughs> eh, I'll pass. John. Or was it? Those moves when she packed my wallet were impressive. If she studies martial arts. Yeah, I'll just have to try harder. Okay. Didn't go the way I wanted it to. Well, whatever. I still beat it. That's all that really matters. Delinquent yo yo abilities. Alright, so and I'll return to the ninja room. That's gonna be all for this one. That was a lot of plot. That one that. Hope comes back later, otherwise why was it there? <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.